Have you heard any stories about monsters? Yes, monsters. Just after playing with her dolls, Kelly stands at the window. She has her favorite toy, a telescope. Kelly is looking through her telescope. She looks at the sky. She looks at the streets. She looks at the houses. But only one thing interests her, and this is what she sees: the monster is back. Oh, what's that? Kelly, we have to go now. Mom, look. Oh, okay. Come on then. Okay, Mom. Good. No one knows where this monster comes from. No one knows why it is here. But one thing we do know is where it is hiding, and we're about to find out the trouble this monster brings to Kelly's family. What's that on the wall? Is that a bubble? What are these on the wall? Are they bubbles? Hmm. Are they going to fall? Oh, it's the monster. It's back. And it's picking its nose. Yuck! Use a tissue, please. It's so gross. There are boogers on the wall. Oh, monster! That's not all. In the bedroom, there are more. One, two, three, four, five, and six on the chair. On the desk, on the lampshade, it didn't even on the toy box. Who could have done that? Kelly, let's go home. All right. I'm hungry, Mom. Okay. Let me call Libby, and she'll have our lunch ready, sweetheart.
Libby. Yes, Mum. Uh, Kelly and I are on our way home and uh, she's very hungry. What's for lunch? I have spaghetti, beef and tomatoes too. Anything else? I'll prepare some soup. Did you hear that? The monster is blowing its nose. Where is it now? Is it in the cupboard? Is it in the sink? Is it in the microwave oven? Oh, look! There it is! The monster is in the rubbish bin. And it leaves some terrible things behind. Yuck! It isn't a booger. It isn't a piece of gum. It isn't a marshmallow. Nor is it a bun. It's not. The monster says, Ah, oh, it's so gross. That's great. OK, bye-bye. Bye, Mum. Oh, look at what the monster did. Oh, that's snot. It's the monster's snot. It's on the fan. It's so gross. Wrap the snot in a tissue, please. Watch out. The monster's snot. It is on the spoon. Oh my goodness. <gasps> snot in the soup. Beware. Monster's snot is in the soup. Lunch is ready. Mom, I'm hungry. Okay, Kelly. Look, lunch is ready. Great. Libby? Libby! Where is she? Here I am, Mom. Something wrong, Libby? I have a tummy ache. I just threw up. I feel very sick. Let me take you to the doctor now. Kelly, eat your lunch first. Oh, no, Mom. The food tastes strange. Don't eat it. Mm. <laughs> Poor Libby. She doesn't know. The monster is back. And it's blowing its nose. It's snot is in the soup. Its snot is in the spaghetti. Its snot is in all the food. Again, Kelly's family is in big trouble. Are you all right? Yes, Mom. The doctor says it's the food. The food made me sick. Oh, well, we must get rid of lunch then. But the troubles are not over. There's one more to come. Just after playing with his cars, a little boy, Tommy, stands at the window. He has his favourite toy, a telescope. Tommy is looking through his telescope. 
He looks at the sky. He looks at the streets. He looks at the houses. But only one thing interests him, and this is what he sees. Kelly's home is on fire? Uh -huh. <laughs> there isn't any fire. It's the monster! Look at the yellowish things. They aren't boogers. They aren't snot. They aren't marshmallows. Nor are they dots. Oh, they are the monster's earwax. Earwax! The monster says, Yuck! What a monster! Put it in the rubbish bin, please! What's happening here? What's that? I guess the monster is back. Look, it is its earwax. Oh, yes, Mom! The dirty monster! I found his booger in Callie's room! Oh my goodness! Oh, and remember the food that made me sick? Right! There is no monster living in my house! Our work starts now! Aha! Uh -huh. No one knows if the monster is still alive. But be careful. Don't let any monster live in your home. It will make you and your family ill. Clean your nose with a tissue or handkerchief. Wrap your boogers or snot in a tissue. Throw it into a rubbish bin. Put it into a laundry basket. Be a good child. Keep clean and stay healthy. Keep the monster at bay!